Uh, welcome to part 49. We will look at some more questions. Parts 47 and 48 are in the members area cloud kernel or cloud ninja members can access. So if you have not yet subscribed, do so and onboard the cloud journey. So let us look at this question. So first, even before I read the question, I see SQL injection and cross-site scripting. So I know we have to use WAF in this case because it is for cross-site scripting and SQL injection. So I have only one option with WAF. This would be my answer. Okay, for shield, what is the keyword? We should look for DDoS protection. So DDoS is not mentioned. If you are creating a static website using S3, then you would use option B. If we don't have static website here because they are talking about securing servers. D is telling about EC2 with third party. See, this question is checking your knowledge on AWS, not on third party. So, this cannot be the answer. Option A configure AWS WAF rules and associate them with ALB is the right answer. So this is the next question. See in this question they have so many CSV files and then they want to transform it. The moment I see the word transform data bucket, I think of glue crawlers. This is the ETL tool of AWS. Just like Azure Data Factory. Where do I see crawler? This one. So this would be my answer. It will use this ETL because transformation, transform, transform. Okay. And then the transform data would be put in the output step. So this would be my answer. EMR is for big data, lots of data where you need Spark and so on. In this question, we are not talking about tons of data aws batch the so batch is about ml model trading if you want to run something in the batch processing then you use it but who will transform the data it does not address lambda function is serverless compute but nobody uses lambda for etl why because it has 15 minutes time limit it auto kills after 15 minutes and so group crawler is our answer option B. In this question, they want to move data 700 terabytes of data, a lot of data. If there is a lot of data and they want to move at lowest cost, see data sync will work for data migration. So database to database data migrations, then you can use it. Direct connect is like not possible always no, because it takes time to set up and it is very costly it is not the lowest cost we are talking about lowest cost and vpn uh, see vpn you can use but not for 700 terabytes you have 700 terabytes of data which is very high so you will need to use snowball devices and then push it to the uh, glacier deep archive this is where you push it and it is meant for petabyte scale data so that is why this is correct parts 47 and 48 are in the members area if you can become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja members subscribe if you want to onboard the cloud journey this brings us to the end of part 49 see you in the next part